Hey, Internet land, this is your girl, Annetta Powell, your professional success coach of network marketing and Internet marketing. And today I want to talk about auto ship as well as reoccurring orders. Let me just get the air straight. A lot of times you all get into a network marketing company and when you sponsor someone into a network marketing company, you do not make it a requirement that they set their reoccurring order up or auto ship. Well, when you don't do that, guess what? Your organization will not grow because you have to have volume, all right? If someone wants to partner with you in your business and they don't want to be set up on an auto ship or a reoccurring order, you need to let them know that you will not work with them because you're going to be running a nonprofit business, okay? Auto ship reoccurring order is like your overhead, all right? It's something that you have to have to run a business, all right? And whatever the case may be, the person that you sponsored into the business should at least have enough customers to cover their auto ship if they cannot afford it, okay? Stop trying to uh, build a business and sign people up because what's going to happen is, say for instance, you sign 10 people up this month. And then you turn around and you don't even make sure they're on auto ship and they don't even sign up on auto ship. All right. So those 10 people that you actually put into the business, the following month, right, when it's time to um, actually sign some more people up or guess what? You're going to sign those people up. However, you'll get the points for signing the new people up, but the old people, since they didn't have a reoccurring order, guess what? You'll lose out, let's say if an auto ship was a hundred dollars. So that's a hundred points. So dollar for dollar, that's a thousand points that you could have had that following month. And that's how you begin to build your organization. Okay. So with that said, I mean, if you don't do that, network marketing is going to be like a hustle to you because every month you got to hustle to keep up and keep building the volume up. And that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to build wealth. So this has to be a requirement okay before anybody can work with you guess what if they refuse to get on a reoccurring order or an auto ship which is the same thing guess what they're not serious about the business and your time is valuable stop trying to um, rearrange your schedule around the person that you signed up into the business just stop it okay so if they don't want to get a reoccurring order they're not serious about doing the business so what you need to tell them you know what Jan at this time I cannot work with you I need committed people on my team and in order for me to work with you it's a requirement that you have a reoccurring order or an auto ship because that way I know that you're serious and I want to help you build wealth because if this is what's going to happen also, if you do not um, install in your team that it's a requirement to have auto ship or a reoccurring order, you don't mandate it with the person, mandate it and tell the person that you actually signed up that they have to have an auto ship. Well, they're not going to mandate it when they start to sign people up. And now what you're going to have is a bunch of zeros running around in your back office. And we all agree, network marketing is hard work. So to get out here, bust your butt, travel, go all over the country doing home presentations or whatever the case may be, gas is high. And if you want to go around running around and not... When you sign people up, I should say, and not place them on auto ship, you are definitely wasting your time. So with all that said, I just wanted to um, bring that to your attention. Listen, this is a requirement. If you're in network marketing and you yourself is not on auto ship or a reoccurring order, you are not serious about the business and you are wasting your sponsor's time. Okay, that's a requirement. You know, when you get those products in, that shall force you to get out there and sell the products that you have. Go get you 10 customers. Go get you 20 customers. Build up your organization so that before you know it, you're one of the top income earners within the company. So with that said, you all have a great day and bye.